Well, hello, everybody, and it's great to be back with you once again. I'm Mara Hannigan, your Suffolk County Criminal Court Clerk at the Superior Court for Criminal Business. And it's just uh, been beautiful weather out there. I'm sure you've all been enjoying it. And hard to believe that uh, summer is winding down. And actually, this weekend is going to be the first day of fall. So hopefully, we'll get a nice Indian summer. So uh, once again, it's great to be with you. And we actually have a real treat for you today. And, you know, as part of my show, usually we have two half-hour segments, but every once in a while we have a program that really requires more time. And for those of you who are jazz fanatics and, and like jazz music, and even for those who you don't know a lot about jazz, you are in for a real treat today. Uh, we have a very distinguished gentleman, uh, Rick Delarata, who uh, is with Jazz for Peace, a renowned musician. And we are so fortunate to have him, but before I officially introduce him to you, I'd like to read you a little bit about him and Jazz for Peace, which we talked about during the summer months, but we're just so fortunate to have him today, here with you today. And also, he's going to be playing uh, some music for us, so uh, really going to be a wonderful program. Uh, Jazz for Peace, uh, in March 2007, jazz pianist, vocalist, and composer Rick Delarata was included by the Foundation Center in their list of musician philanthropists along with Bono, U2, Elton John, Peter Gabriel, and Sting. Rick Delarada is an international jazz pianist, vocalist, and composer who has won numerous awards through his talent. Most recently, Rick was given the 2007 Jazz Appreciation Award by the American Federation of Musicians, Local 85-133, for outstanding achievement as an international jazz performer, composer, and philanthropist, giving back to the community through jazz, jazz education, charitable contributions, and Jazz for Peace performances. The Jazz for Peace mission is to continue the Benefit Concert Series to expand its performances to other cities, states, and countries to bring jazz back into the schools and expose Americans to one of the greatest yet often overlooked art forms and to donate musical instruments to underprivileged children and schools. Rick Delarada and Jazz for Peace performed at the United Nations in New York in September 2002. He led a, pan, a band consisting of Israeli, Palestinian, and American musicians in concert for an international audience in what is now considered one of the most significant cultural events of our time. This UN concert had led to a benefit concert series that has gone on to raise funds publicity and awareness for over 500 nonprofit organizations, garnered support and praise from distinguished Americans, and attended and enjoyed by ambassadors, celebrities, humanitarian, and music lovers worldwide. Throughout the year in 2007, Jazz for Peace will be celebrating the fifth anniversary of this historic event. Welcome. Rick Delarada. What you. an honor it is to have you here. Well, thank you so much, Maura. I, I'm, I'm just delighted. Well, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself. I mean, it seems like, you know, you are known worldwide, and I just think it's so exciting to have our viewers really be able to meet you personally, to find out what has really what you inspired do. you to, uh, to really bring your effort, Jazz for Peace, worldwide. Well, thanks. You know, I'm as proud as I am of our achievements. Uh, honestly, I, uh, the more I learn, it, it's, it's just a a wonderful learning experience for me. I've just I'm learning so much about uh, all of these different organizations and all the dreams they have, and how important it is um, to help them because they're helping others. So you know, helping those who are helping others, it's a sustainable path, and that's really what we mean by Jazz for Peace. We mean you know. Uh, embracing the behavior that has a better chance to avoid uh, you know the destruction and destructive types of, of things so you know by helping those who are helping others we really feel like we're on the right path and using America's greatest art form to do it um, is, is an honor and a privilege for me yeah well, you know on, on Sundays and you know I'm gonna have to start listening to a lot more jazz but on Sundays I always kind of because you kind of wind down and kick back on Sundays and, and love to listen to jazz Sunday mm -hmm. mornings but really, uh, jazz knows no time frame, and, and it is very uh, comforting and just very, very moving. And I think when you talk about a message of how you proactively, which is what this show tries to accomplish, you know, really try to steer people of every age, but particularly young people, in the right direction, expose them to a lot of things that are out there, particularly culture, uh, to their creative spirit, 
and, and really try to understand how they can make a real genuine contribution to life and what better way than through music and particularly in this case with jazz music. Well, absolutely. You know, the art form of jazz has a proven history to have the ability to affect people in a profoundly positive way. And uh, there's no better example than that of, um, I believe his, uh, his last name was Black. His first name, I believe, was Roy Black. But he was um, the author of many of the civil rights uh, uh, documents of our time. He was a United States uh, congressman. And uh, his life was changed in a positive way. Actually, um, Brown versus the Board of Education, he authored. And when they asked him, you know, uh, uh, and all of the wonderful things that you've done and the great services you've done for our country, you know, what got you on the right path? And he, uh, you know, uh, tr attributed a lot to the art form of jazz. He had um, uh, heard a jazz band as a kid and became convinced that the trumpet player in that band was a genius. Uh, the trumpet player, he happened to hear by accident, uh, just playing at a local dance, was Louis Armstrong. Wow. And it just, you know, changed his whole, and, and his, he began to embrace the American art form of jazz, and he, he just felt that that was a turning point for him in, in terms of having a profoundly positive effect on him. Oh, that is so wonderful and, and really, really exciting. Now, 